everybody, it's Miss Bree here, and I have asked my daughter Grace to join me today. Hi everybody! And I'm so happy to get to talk to you again. We are coming to you from my girl's playroom at the house, and I have something to share with you, but I asked Grace to put it in this bag because I want to keep it a secret. I'm going to give you three clues, and you try to guess what's inside the bag. Ready? Okay, clue number one. There are actually two things inside the bag. Clue number two, you can put both of these things in your mouth, but you should not eat them. And clue number three, you can use them at least two times a day. Yes. And so, do you know what it is? Okay, Grace, show us what's inside the bag. Okay, so first we have a toothbrush and a tube of toothpaste. And I asked Grace to bring these things because they can help explain something that is in the Bible. So in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19, it says, Be quick to listen, be slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Now sometimes without thinking, we can say things to another person that really hurts them. And after saying those hurtful or mean things, we might realize what we've done and we might like to take those words back, but it's too late. Once we've said something to another person, we can't take those words back. It's kind of like this toothpaste too. You know, sometimes we might squeeze out too much toothpaste onto the, to onto the toothbrush. And can we put that toothpaste back inside the tube? Nope, it just makes a mess. That's right. Once the toothpaste is out of the tube, it's too late to put it back. Saying an unkind word to another person is pretty easy to do. It's really as easy as squeezing toothpaste out of the tube. We would like to take those words back, but we can't. Maybe you've had someone say an unkind word to you and you know how that feels. So we should always make sure that the words that we speak don't hurt anyone else because once you've spoken those words, it's too late to get them back. So we're gonna try to use kind words to the people that we talk to, especially to our brothers and our sisters and our moms and dads right now, right? Right. Okay, so let's say a prayer to God. Will you pray with me? Dear God. Dear God. Help us to bless others. Help us to bless others. With our words. With our words. And not hurt them. And not hurt them. Help us to show your love. Help us to show your love. With our words. With our words. And actions. And actions. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks, Grace, for being with me today. You're and welcome. we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi friends, Miss Jen here. Um, welcome to my kitchen table. For this week's family activity, I thought we could do a dinner jar. Some of you may have these at home and some of you may have just only heard of them. So I want to encourage everyone to participate in this fun activity. You will learn a lot about each other and I think you'll be really surprised at some of the answers. So what do you do? We are gonna send out <coughs> some questions that you can ask at your dinner table and you can use any jar this is one that we had from a school project this is actually a flower vase um, but you can use Tupperware or rinse out a butter jar whatever you need to do um, to keep them all contained and there are all different kinds of questions in here some of them are um, affirmations to other people sitting at your table so an example would be tell a person to your left why you love them <coughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? This is Emmeline's favorite question because it means in 10 years she'll be almost 18 and she really likes the idea of that. Um, what do you love best about your family? What is one thing you could have done better today? Say something nice to each person around the table. And then there are also silly ones about superheroes or would you rather be invisible or read people's minds? I think I would rather be invisible. So I encourage everyone to pray about this and please participate. I think you're going to find um, that your kids and your parents give some different answers than you would have thought. I know that we um, as a family participate in this pretty much every night. We take turns drawing around our table um, and we usually pull two or three at a time because the kids love doing it so much. Um, so we will attach the paper and you can 
Um, just cut up the little pieces for the questions. This is a good preschool cutting activity also. Um, but I hope that everyone is staying safe and everyone is staying healthy. Bye now. Hey guys, Miss Melanie here with Ella and William. We have a song to share with you today about our God being so big. There's nothing that our God cannot do. That includes helping us choose kind words and loving words, helping us love our neighbor or maybe our next bedroom neighbor. God is so big, he can help us do all of that and he can help us through staying at home and finding ways to love our family too. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Let's show the mountains. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars in the sky are his too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Let's try it with a mousy voice. Ready? Get your little bitty mousers. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Squeak! The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars in the sky are His too. Squeak! Squeak! My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Alright, and this one's William's favorite. We're going to do it like the Hulk. Are you ready? Yeah. My God is so big, so strong God and so mighty, mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Huh. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars in the sky are his too. Huh. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Huh. I hope you guys had fun with that. See if you can come up with a creative way of doing it and email it to the church. We would love to see what you come up with too. Bye guys.